beautiful way. She's pretty dang stunning, if I do say so myself. So we're just going to spend the day just at the beach, eating some food, doing random stuff. We'll probably take you with us or probably not because this is our first vlog so we might just forget to take the camera. I've never been to this beach before and it's actually pretty dang pretty. Like, it is something out of this freaking world to be completely honest. We're gonna go snorkeling in a little bit, but I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do it. By we, I mean me. All right, I'm gonna take you with me. left our GoPro. We'll let you know how it was when we're done. so freaking hot we couldn't actually vlog it because I was suffocating but this is really cool yeah she's really cool <laughs> so you can see a lot of things that were just painted by all the locals which is really cool that looks like it's a shower which is really interesting because it looks like these were just houses and houses that were just torn down maybe by the hurricane I don't know but it's really pretty here yeah so just a little snippet of what we just did it's really really pretty there's just all over there's so many really cool things like if you see up there anyways it's really cool so I thought you guys might like it Anyways, we are going to leave now because we have reservations. Okay, so the place that we were just at is called Casa de Colores in Aguadilla. So it's just House of Colors. You can literally just look up colorful houses in Aguadilla and you can find it. There's a really cool park in the front. It's um, a park dedicated to children, which is really, really cute. It's kind of sad though, because it looks like at one point they were trying to make it something really cool. But I think with COVID and everything, everything just kind of changed and there's just not many people out there, which is really sad. But I think it's still a really cool place to come to and visit. Definitely worth looking at. For sure wear shoes that 
are appropriate to walk and there's a bunch of steps which is fantastic but we are out of shape so it definitely took me a little bit longer than it should have oh well, my flower is falling well anywho we wanted to kind of update you on where we were and what we were doing also we did go snorkeling it did not go as well as expected we ended up um well at least i ended up having a mini panic attack because i felt like i couldn't breathe at least i was able to see some fish which was pretty cool um she was not able to see any fish which was really unfortunate but it's so cool we were at crash boat beach definitely worth going if you want to go get appropriate snorkel gear because we did not and that was really unfortunate because it's so pretty there's so many cool fish there it's definitely something that you should do all right well we are going to get some food and probably just chill the rest of the night i'm not really sure but we'll keep checking in and updating you hi guys so we are waiting for the sunset so while we wait, we figured we would just talk about how we met because we have a little bit to go. So this is kind of kind of interesting because it's two different sides. So Jade will start first. Um so I had just gotten out of a relationship like a month prior. And I was going out to the gay club every Friday and Saturday meeting girls mm -hmm. and um, I had my wingman there almost every Friday and Saturday but for this weekend he decided uh, not to go I think it was working or something but I still decided to go with my other friend and um, I saw Effie there and went up to her and stuck my hand out to dance and she grabbed it and started dancing with me and she looked very straight so I just kept asking her like are you gay she kept saying yeah no, no you're not no I am um, and I kept trying to get a little frisky and she wouldn't allow it and then her friend <laughs> wanted to leave so I asked her for a number and she gave it to me. Sounds about right. Okay, so <clears throat> on my end, I had just gotten out of a relationship as well. So she was in a seven year relationship. She was married. Um, I was not. I was in a five year relationship and I had just broken up. So I went to the club, which I hadn't gone in a really long time, and so we ended up going and I saw this girl and I was at the bar. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. But that was literally it. So when we went back to, up to the dance floor, one of my friends saw her and she's like, wow, this girl's really cute. And I'm just like, well, darn, because I kind of saw her, but you know, she called first dip. She had seen her first. So when jade asked me out to dance i was like oh no so i talked to my friend i'm like hey she asked me to dance and she's like well she picked you so go for it um and that's kind of how it all started it's getting closer 